welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here at uh, Bewley and at uh, the Auto Jumble. Uh, we've just met up with Barry earlier on to see his fantastic three litre magenta stag. So I just thought I'd show you a few shots of uh, what he showed us and uh, let's have a good look. So there we are. So this is the colour that UNY 49M should have been, or should have, which could actually grow on me, but I'm not going to change my mind yet again on colour, Harry. But it uh, looks very, very smart, doesn't it? On a L plate, so what's that, 73, 74? Uh, beautiful colour. L plate 72. 72, is it? Beg your pardon. 72. All right then. Okay, so 1972. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really nice inside. Yeah. Automatic. I made warranty in the end. Yeah. And, um, and a really nice so engine yeah, with the chrome yeah. rocker covers. Very nice indeed. Magenta, that is. So now I was just saying I really like the idea of the blacked out rear. That's a Mark II kind of flavour, isn't it? Yeah. So around the number plate and the, the rear panel underneath the boot there, it's all blacked out. So I really like the look of that, it's really good. Martins it all off. Yeah. And the seat covers. Yep. You know. So for the seats alone was a thousand pounds. Was it? Was it? You know. Yeah. And yeah. You buy the padding and the seat and the, the rubbers underneath and the renewed. They got rubber membranes. Yep. Yeah. 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 And the only really annoying thing was when they the rimmers got these yeah. remade. Yeah. The zip. Is it underneath or on the side? It's on the side, isn't it? Uh, the zip. Ours is in the garage at the minute. Well, it's supposed to start, so it's supposed to start here. Yeah. And go all the way around. Yeah. And zip up there. Okay. They put it in back to front. Oh right. So now it doesn't tidy. Oh it okay. Doesn't tidy right, uh, up. just on that little you edge know. there. Yeah. yeah. It's so annoying, you know. Yeah. Little details, isn't it? But yeah. just if you know they're there, then you it do, kind of winds you, you up, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> Rain, yeah, I made this. This is clever. Oh, just look at this, very nifty. Just clips on. You made this yourself, yeah. Top yeah. work, very good. Just clips on like that, yeah. Stretches itself over, okay. With Velcro on the back, know, goes right over the top. So you don't have to faff about with so the roof. You don't have to faff about it. Good idea, that's very just clever. <laughs> just left the car for five minutes or whatever it looks yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, you know. In the market, you know? I've just, <laughs> well, I might get some inquiries actually for you. Yes, yeah, that's just easy, isn't it? Keeping it in the food. That's right, just, yeah. You know, stop in the pub. And yeah. yeah, yeah. Stay in the pub and, yeah. and yeah. get out the next morning. Yeah. Very good. But then they never work. No, <laughs> no, I oh, know. It's just uh, if you want perfect cut lines, you buy a German, don't you? <laughs> yeah. uh, right. yeah. A bit of wire. Yeah. There. Okay. Onto the bonnet release. Thatcher, yeah. Which is that's the normal one. Yeah. And just go through there to a, a so little through little to the uh, wire. Okay. You know, and then you oh, can so release yeah. it much easier. Because I've heard there's been disasters with people breaking exactly. off this wire and then you can't open you the can't bonnet. Get in. Yeah. Very good idea. Yeah. Some top tips here for Harry the Stag. I'll be ways. uploading a video later, I think. <laughs> 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 I'll have to send you a bobble out. <laughs> So that was Barry's magenta stag, and I think we're all pretty impressed with that. No doubt I'll get some inquiries about how he got that hood done and some really good tips on how to remove the, uh, open the bonnet if you get stuck, because that cable can snap and it's a very common problem. So if you can fix it with another cable into your wheel arch to open it up, top idea. And uh, yeah, just pan around to show you a few of the other cars here. As I say, it should <coughs> technically be a moggy fest. Harry's over there with his MGB GT and uh, we've got various other cars over here, Mark 1 Cortina, uh, Mark 1 Ford Fiesta gear um, over there which is uh, really good. Over there I can see another stag so we'll go and have a look at that in just a moment but uh, plenty to look at and uh, not just Morris Miners but quite a good mix of uh, classics as you can see of all creeds and types.
All right, guys, so uh, really good to see Barry Stagg. I think uh, we've all enjoyed seeing how he's innovated various ideas to prevent problems, such as that little bit of wire into the wheel arch to uh, act as a doubling up of the Bowden cable that can sometimes snap and leave a big problem trying to get the bonnet open. So that's a really great tip. Um, we'll obviously be awarding him a Ari the Stag Boblat in due course, and I'm going to send that on to him. And uh, if anybody's interested in one of those roofs, let me know and I'll pass on your details to him because uh, he certainly seems to have got uh, a few bright ideas in uh, driver comfort on the uh, Triumph Stag itself. Okay guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow the channel. Please feel free to, feel to, feel free to share and uh, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and all the rest of it. And we'll see you all on Ari the Stag very soon. Cheers for now guys.